praise the lord hallelujah beloved today we are going to read a very important chapter from the bible as we read from second peter chapter 1 let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight lord jesus christ lead us and guide us and bless us amen yes beloved here we see salutation chapter 1 of second peter or as we read from the king james version bible simon peter a servant and an apostle of jesus christ to those who have obtained like precious faith with us by the righteousness of our god and savior jesus christ grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of god and of jesus our lord growth in christ as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises that through these you may be partakers of divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust but also for this very reason giving all diligence add to your faith virtue to virtue knowledge to knowledge self control to self control perseverance and to perseverance godliness to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness love for if these things are yours and abound you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ for he who lacks these things is short sighted even to blindness and has forgotten that he was purged from his old sins therefore brethren be even more diligent to make your calling and election sure for if you do not do these things if you do these things you will never stumble for so an entrance will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our lord and savior jesus christ therefore i will not be negligent to remind you always of these things though you know them and are established in the present truth yes i think it is right as long as i am in this tent to stir you up by reminding you knowing that shortly i may put off my tent just as our lord jesus christ showed me experience of the transfiguration moreover i will be careful to ensure that you always have a reminder of these things after my decease for we did not follow cunningly devised fables when we made known to you the power and coming of our lord jesus christ by our eye witnesses of his majesty for he received from god the father honor and glory when such a voice came to him from the excellent glory this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased and we heard this voice which came from heaven and when we were with him on the holy mountain certainty of the scriptures we also have the prophetic word made more sure which you do well to heed as a light that shine in as the light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts we also have the prophetic word made more sure which you do well to heed as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning place yes 
morning star rises in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. Verse 21, for prophecy never came by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Here ends the reading of the Bible chapter of Second Peter chapter 1. May the Lord guide us and lead us. As the beautiful word, as we were seeing the growth in Christ, the salutation, experience of the transfiguration and the certainty of the scriptures. Yes, beloved, it is true which is written, for prophecy never came by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Yes, the words are true, beloved. And also, as we see in verse 19 and 20, the certainty of the scriptures, that we also have the prophetic word made more sure, which you do well to heed as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. Yes, beloved, for the word is fire, the word is spirit, as we read in John 6, verse 63, the word is spirit, the word is life. Yes, beloved. And also, Jeremiah 23, verse 29, the word is hammer, which will break the rock into pieces. Yes, beloved, everything is given in the Bible. We have to just open it and read it and get the blessings, abundance of blessings, guidance, and also the laws and the commandments. Yes, as we read in Luke 25 to 27 of chapter 10, it says, we have to love our living God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And also, we have to love our neighbor. Yes, the words are true, beloved. Yes, and also, we shall live. The words are true. Let us love our living God, our God, who is the omnipotent God who reigns, as we read in Revelation 19, verse 6. Let us love him with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Yes, let us walk in the way that he is laid, that he is kept for us, and also he will take care of us. He will never leave us, nor forsake us. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. The words are true. The same words in Joshua 1, verse 9. Yes, Joshua 1, verse 9. Yes, for he is a mighty God. As we read, he has all power and authority. As we read in Matthew 28, and he is the maker of heaven and earth. Psalm 121, the words are true. The word says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, you keeps Israel, will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is a keeper. The Lord is a shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep you going out and you coming in. From this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. The words are true, beloved. Yes. And also, our mighty God is present with us. Every second, every moment to help us. Yes. He will deliver us. He will deliver us. The words are true as we read in Jeremiah 39. When the word comes twice, it has been done. As we read about many minutes, yes, Paris, oppression. The words are true. As we read in Genesis 46, verse 2 and 3, it says, God said to Jacob, 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 I will make you a great nation. And today we are Israel, prince with God. We are the daughters of Zion. Yes, beloved, we are the ambassadors of God, the children of God, the friends of God. Yes, we are not ordinary people. We are the children of the living God, the maker of heaven and earth. And there are miles of angels surrounding you and me. Yes, he will command his angels to guard us in all our ways. Psalm 91. And always say, thy will be done. John 6 verse 38. The words are true, beloved. For he knows what is good for us. He knows our past, present and future. The word says that he will carry us. The words are true. Isaiah 46. The words are true. He will carry us. Even in our gray hair and old age. Isaiah 46 verse 4 
and Isaiah 46 verse 10. Yes, the words are true, beloved. Yes, the word says, be still and know that I am God. Psalm 46 verse 10. Yes, many times we really wonder whether God is looking at us, whether he is worried about the situation we are in, whether he takes the initiative for us. But he knows everything, beloved. And he's loved us even before we have loved him. The words are true as we read the mighty word. Jeremiah 31 verse 3. Yes, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Isha Masiha, Jesus Christ, on the cross for us, that whosoever believeth should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16. The words are true, beloved. Yes. And also, what is your wish today? Whether it is the requirement of money or your business prospect, whether it is the requirement of deliverance from the addiction, from smoking, from drinking, from drugs, whether you require peace in your house, the joy Jesus Christ will give you. For he is our Emmanuel, God with us. He is our Ebenezer, God, yes, will help us. He is our Yahweh, Ire, God will provide. Genesis 22 verse 14, take out at least half an hour my dear brother, my dear sister, and read the Bible and pray. Yes, meditate on the word of God. Yes, and also God will bless you abundantly. Ephesians 3.20 and also we read in Psalm 38 verse 6. Yes, God is God. Yes, he is a guide even unto death as we read in Psalm 48 verse 14. He hears a prayer, beloved. The words are true. I am his witness and the word came. Only believe to me. As we read in Mark 5, verse 36, I came to a stage of my life where I had to only believe and the word came true. He is a loving father, as we read in Isaiah 64, yes, and 63. And we are his clay and he is a potter, as we read in Isaiah 64, verse 8, yes, beloved. And he comforts us as loving mother, Isaiah 66, verse 13, yes, he knows all our negative nature, what all the mistakes are there. He will forgive us, beloved. For he came in this world not for the righteous, but for sinners, for repentance. As we read the mighty word from Exodus 34, the nature of a God is revealed. He is a God full of love, compassion, mercy, and abounding in grace. And he forgives us sins. Yes, and also he is a God of truth. Yes, beloved, the words are true. The word says for every question, my presence shall go with thee and I will give you rest. The words are true, beloved. Yes, for he is a God of living, not the dead. The words are true as we read in Luke 20 verse 38. And my presence shall go with thee and I will give you rest. Exodus 33 verse 14. For he is our I am who I am. The words are true, beloved. Yes, so seize the day, be victorious in life. When you wake up in the morning, first thing you do is thank the Lord. Thank him for his faithfulness at night and loving kindness in the morning. As we read in Psalm 92 verse 2. And also we read, yes, as Psalm 68 says in verse 19. We bless your name for you daily load us with benefits. He comes riding on the heavens on the excellency of clouds to help you and me. The words are true. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world, whole world and loses his own soul? The words are true, beloved. Yes. So let us seek him first. The word says, seek the kingdom of God and everything will be given to you. Luke 12 verse 31. The words are true, beloved. Yes, for he is a manna to a soul. The word, the living word, the Bible, it is the roadmap of life. It is the manna to a soul. Let us make it a point to read the Bible and to pray. Let it go hand in hand from the 24 hours, beloved. Give at least half an hour to read the Bible and to pray. Jesus Christ will speak to you. The words are true. As you are speaking, I will hear. And as you pray, I will answer. For he is the living God, beloved. Yes, you are in this world. God has a plan. God has a purpose. For even before we were formed in the womb, he knew us. The words are true, Jeremiah. 1 verse 5. Yes, and as we commit ourselves in his hands, as we submit ourselves in his hands, he will take care of us. He will provide all our needs. He is a Yahweh Ire. He is a morning star. He is a Yeshunasi. He is a banner beloved. Yes. He will heal us right now. My brother, sisters who are in the sick bed. Yes. The children who are in the sick bed. 
Jesus of Nazareth right now is with us. He will heal you right now. Yes, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, be healed right now. Yes, keep the hand on the particular place where you require the healing. Jesus Christ will heal you right now. For we claim the promise with the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us. You heal us. Isaiah 53 verse 5. And he is the same yesterday, today and forever. As we read the mighty word, it is speaking to you and to me, beloved. As we read in, yes, Hebrews 13 verse 8. Yes, the words are true. Yes, heavens and earth shall pass away, but his words will not pass away. The words are true. Matthew 24, 35. Therefore, this book is not a storybook, nor a novel. It is the living word, beloved. Yes. When you sleep, the word will keep you. When you are awake, the word will speak to you. And when you roam, the word will lead you. As we read in Proverbs 6, verse 21 and 22. So bind the word continually around your heart. Yes. Obey the mighty God and you will have victory, deliverance. Yes. As we read in the mighty word, Deuteronomy chapter 11. And the blessings and also the promise, Deuteronomy 28, we read from 1 to 14. It says, when you love me, when you keep my commandments, you shall be the head and not the tail. Thou will bless my basket, and we shall not borrow, but lend to the nations. The words are true, beloved. Ask what your request is there today. Go in his presence boldly. The word says, draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. He is the living God. He is the loving God, beloved. Yes. As we read in Zechariah 1, 3 and Malachi chapter 3. Yes. Go in his presence. Ask your request. Whether it is for food, water, bread, money, for good health, for the prosperity, for the deliverance. Yes, for the money that you require. Everything, Jesus Christ will bless you. He will help you. Man is but a breath in his nostrils, beloved. As we read in Isaiah chapter 2, Jesus Christ is there with us right now. He will never leave us nor forsake us. Remember, Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. And all these things we are more than conquerors. As we read in Romans 8 verse 37. Yes, a mighty God is there with us. As we read, he is the wonderful counselor. He is the mighty God. Yes, beloved. And also, he is the everlasting father and the prince of peace. He will bless us with peace. The words are true as we read in Isaiah 9 verse 6. And he is a righteousness. He is a Malaika Malikin, king of king, he is a Tetzet Kenu. Yes, he is a righteousness. As we read in Isaiah 9, yes, the words are true, beloved. Yes, every word in the Bible is true, living and everlasting. Yes, many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him of them all. The words are true, Psalm 34. We read the mighty word. It is speaking, hallelujah, in verse 19. Yes, so we encourage the angel of the Lord and campeth around those that fear him, and he delivers them. The words are true, as we read in Psalm 34, verse 7. Ask all your requests to our living God, beloved. Go in his presence and pray. The word says, ask and he shall receive. Matthew 7, verse 8. There is no fees required. The word says, further, it shall be given to every one. The words are true. Whether you are rich, whether you are poor, whether you are nobody in this world, Jesus Christ loves you. Yes. So the word says in Revelation 7.10 and 7.17 to you and to me, He is our salvation. And the word says, yes, He will wipe away our every tear. He will lead us to the living waters and He will be a shepherd. Hallelujah. The words are true. So do not quit in life. Be encouraged. Seize the day. Do not cave in. Do not give up in life. Be victorious in life. For the battle is the Lord's. 1 Samuel 17.47 and the victory rests with the mighty God. Yes, as we read in Proverbs 21, verse 31. Wear the armor of God every day morning. That is Ephesians 6, verse 11. The helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith, the sword of the Old Testament, New Testament, King James Version Bible, and the shoes or sandals of gospel of peace. Yes, beloved, be encouraged. Be victorious in life. Yes, for the devil is prowling outside. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. James 4 verse 7, the words are true. Yes, beloved, a mighty God is with us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. Yes, and also we will be victorious in life when we walk with our living God. Yes, beloved, read the Bible. Jesus Christ will speak to you. 
And remember, nothing can stop what God has ordained for you, as we read in Isaiah 14, verse 27. And every curse will be turned into a blessing, as we read in Deuteronomy 23, verse 5. All the words are true, beloved. Yes, whatever is the weakness, sickness you have, whatever problems are there will disappear in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, for the word has the power. Yes, beloved, for the kingdom of God is not in the word, but the power as we read in 1 Corinthians 4 verse 20. The words are true. Ask your request to our Lord Jesus Christ. We have been given the Holy Spirit, which will be our guide, which will help us to discern the right and the wrong. Yes, get the Holy Spirit, beloved. Ask for it. Yes, for the word says, yes, when we have the Holy Spirit, we will act. Acts 1, 8. We will be controlled by the power of the Holy Spirit. For our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Our body is the temple of the living God. Let us keep it holy, pure and clean. Yes, beloved, the words are true. So be blessed today and every day. Do arise and shine. As the word says, Isaiah 60, verse 1. Arise and shine. Yes, do like and subscribe the channel. Arise and shine. Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel as God has called me to be a prophetess, evangelist and priest. I am here in his service. I would like to say, as for me in my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24 verse 15. Yes, there is great joy in the presence of Almighty God for us to live as Christ and die as gain. Philippians 1.21 Yes, beloved, our loving God is there with us and he will take care of us. Yes. He is with us every moment. God bless you. Number 6 was 24 to 27. For your every prayer request, do send us an email. The email address is given in the description. And as the Lord is leading you to pay the tithes, thanksgiving offering, you can send it on the link which is given in the description. This is the mission for the blind. Yes. And also, there will be showers of blessing in your house and my house. As we read in Ezekiel 34, 26, the words are true, beloved. Send now prosperity. As we read in Psalm 118, verse 25, the words are true. For the blessing for this year and also the prophecy for this year, for you and me, beloved, is from Jeremiah 29, verse 11. The word says, I know your thoughts. I have plans of future hope, prosperity, peace and welfare for you and me. Hallelujah. Yes, the words are true. God bless each one of us. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.